Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my content is mostly fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos in case you're here for the first time. I also throw in, uh, you know, some vlogs from time to time. So if that sounds like something that ticks your boxes, please do consider subscribing. I would appreciate you joining the family. I also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for always supporting this channel. Um, guys, do also give me a follow on Instagram. Let me know you've come from this channel and I will give you a follow back. My Instagram handle is C Chronicles O only without the talking sense. Now to the order or the business of the day. Today we are doing a Latafa Sator, Latafa Sator uh, fragrance review. This is an other perfume if I'm not mistaken and, and I think it is unisex. I just um, you know picked this one up recently because of the packaging uh, but let me just say a quick one. This packaging does not impress me at all. I think it's too big. I think it's wasteful. I think Latafa is going overboard. Imagine you know if they have to make a half a million or so of these and they had to use all this. This is not tin but it's the same size as the you know like a liter uh tin of paint uh this is not actually tin it is uh cardboard uh but the, the the round like the the round part of it is tin um but it is cardboard but i think it's it's a bit wasteful you know I kind of, I think we get the message, Latafa. We get the message. Okay. There's no need to push it any further. Now, this is the fragrance. It sits here. Uh, I wouldn't turn this upside down without, you know, holding it because it's, it's not quite secure. Uh, but it sits there. You know, it just comes off easily. So I wouldn't, uh, you know, turn it around. Now, Sator, this is the, uh, uh, packaging. I think it is nice. The bottle is nice. It's simplistic. It's got that cap. I saw a website that claimed that this fragrance was Roger, uh, Roger Dove inspired. It's not. You know, the cap is, but the, the fragrance is not. I'm going to tell you in a minute what, in, what it's inspired by. I'm going to spray it on my arm. This is the atomizer. Okay, that's how it looks. Quite nice. I like the atomizer. Quite generous and okay. Uh, so we are talking about La Tafas at all. I got these notes off their website. At the top of this fragrance is peach. You're going to smell the peach. Whether you like peach, hate peach, never smelled peach, you are going to know that this fragrance is peach based. It is very loud on that peach. And the peach is on the top followed by the orange, cardamom and some saffron. And then in the mid it's got the vanna listed as a no dry amber uh jazz jasmine and the base of this has is uh has patchouli vanilla and some labdanum okay so um it opens up with that peachy kind of citrusy combo going on there and a touch of bitter cardamom. There is a bitterness that you feel immediately. Uh, the In 20 minutes in, you know, when I sprayed mine, 20 minutes in, I could feel the orange, you know, that's the citrus that is here, was kind of getting pronounced, you know, in the 20 minute mark, but it's not domineering. It's not like it is pushing the peach away. The good thing about this one is if you love peach, you're going to experience the peach from start to finish because the peach in here holds on. It is a very juicy uh, fragrance in nature you're going to smell that it is going to remind you of something that you've drank before um so yeah the citruses are there if you dig your nose in but they're not it's not competing with that peach the peach still remains pronounced but i have to say that uh, you know that citrus gives it sort of like a fresh twist to it and then the divana comes in there uh which is and the divana is also slightly pronounced so it comes in and introduces like a sharp a little a sh just a, a faint sharpness with a greenness there uh but all these are gentle so they give off like a gentle masculine uh, feel to the fragrance this is within the 20 minute mark to start to feel um that a man can actually wear this fragrance although it is definitely one that falls under the unisex category but that divana in this one gives it a twist like a masculine grassy uh twist there and uh you know you also have a patchouli that they've put in here and the patchouli here gives it off like an a woodsy edge because it's quite earthy you know it is also a, like a green uh, patchouli as well but it's got that like an earthy thing going on there so you get that there's definitely something here that feels a lot grassy um could be the, the tonka again it could be that divana like i said so it gets you know there is an introduction of a little bit of some greenness but it doesn't turn into an overly green fragrance to a point that i must categorize it as the as a very green fragrance it's just to tone you know that sweetness of the peach the juiciness of the peach the feminineness of the peach there is that introduction of those notes that introduce like a greenness there could be a green tonka in here as well but tonka is not listed as a note so basically it is like your sweet cozy uh 
fragrance also because of that vanilla you get that sweetness a bit of some coziness um you know so, uh, uh, like a bit on the comforting side also a faint a very faint pininess so you know when i come here and i tell you about fragrances that are a piney in nature there is a bit of some pininess here as i dig in and i think that i would attribute maybe that to the dry ember it gives off just a little bit of pininess to a point where if you're sensitive to that note you will kind of feel that there is that pininess there so i think they were trying so much to make this one more uh, you know more wearable to both sexes because i think minus that touch of greenness uh, minus that uh, grassy herbal touch uh, this would have been ultra uh, you know feminine but i do get like a perfect balance of the notes here to a point that it is perfectly unisex so it translates uh, to those who want to know it translates to a, like a juicy fruity uh, summer scent with that faint woodiness to it very faint and a touch of green like i said in terms of what this fragrance is inspired by this is a no-brainer if you've used tom ford bitter peach this is what they were going after but they have obviously given um this one uh, uh you know a couple of tweaks here and there um so though it is a lot like tom ford bitter peach it is less juicy less sweet not boozy because it doesn't have the two uh it doesn't have the rum and the pea uh, uh the rum and the uh cognac i think uh that you will get in bitter peach it doesn't have that or it doesn't have that listed as a note so to me this comes off as slightly it is just a tad bit boozy but i wouldn't exactly class it as a boozy scent uh but if you own both fragrances you may be tempted to say it is boozy in nature um this one is also super light as compared to the other one i'll do the comparison because i own uh, uh bitter peach but i can almost you know uh certainly say that is what they were probably going on uh the going for here bitter peach also has heliotrope which is not here uh, uh and that heliotrope in the bitter peach gives like an almondy almondy touch where this one stays peachy slightly citrusy um uh, slightly uh green you know with that uh, spiky kind of sharp uh herbalness to it just slightly okay Okay, so it doesn't have an almondiness here doesn't have the rum or the cognac listed as a note at least um you know according to the tougher website although it does translate just slightly uh boozy uh, it's not as boozy as bitter peach i'm actually uh, wearing bitter peach on this side you know it's not as boozy as that it is a bit exotic uh to the nose if you haven't smelt uh you know what it is inspired by if you haven't smelt that bitter peach you this will come across to you as a very um uh exotic uh, fragrance Some Something quite different from Latafa because Latafa is known for you know some of those uh, very herbal, uh, sometimes really too spicy fragrances. This does have that spicy element to it, which Latafa is known for, uh, but it does not turn too Middle Eastern as well as not turning too Western. So it is just a perfect balance of both to a point where if maybe you've put your nose or you've got a decant or bitter peach and there was something there that was just too much for you or it was too peachy for you, this might work because it does have a little bit of of uh, an overdose of that uh orange citrusy zesty thing that's going on there and um you know it lasts a good while too this is one that is also very uh good in terms of projections i got you know good project projection for over an hour and i think i would attribute this to the pungentness and the acidicness of the peach because the peach here is quite pungent and like i said in the opening that you do carry this peach from the opening to the end so that peach kind of holds on there with that acidity and that gives it kind of like a um uh, i'm not gonna say it's too beastly this is not too beastly but it is a phrase that you are most likely if you one of those people that wears fragrances for compliments you're probably going to get compliments on this one because the peach is quite pronounced it is one of those fragrances that when you all walk in the room you are definitely going to have somebody asking you oh what is that because you know the 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 the, the, the peach is there and it is quite piercing and because the peach here carries the orange as well in as much as you know citrus uh, citrus notes is uh, you know any zesty citrus citrus notes tend not to uh, last a while i feel the orange here also uh, tries to at least hold on a little longer because you kind of still get a little bit of wafts of it through that peach which you know the, it, it gives it a perfect blend the perfect blend of that acidic peach holding on to that citrus and then it you know uh, you you get to enjoy the citrus for a lot longer than you would you know if the citrus was just there with that without that supporting note if that uh, makes any sense to you so yeah basically this is what i got here a fragrance 
fragrance that is ideal absolutely ideal for summer uh, but also can cross over to winter if you know you 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 don't like that pungent peach you may you may want to wear this in in winter because the peach is there it is quite pungent and you're going to smell that all through um definitely on the juicy side uh, a bit on the fresher side as well just slightly fresh it does have those woods that just to tie it and give it a bit of some longevity like it's not too thick but at the same time it's not too light so that is what i had for you guys Latafa uh Satur. this has nothing to do uh with the roger Duff fragrances although they have nailed it in terms of a cap i don't know why they did that maybe they wanted to throw people off uh to me this comes across as you know a a a a, a i would say i would say an 80 percent dupe of beta pitch okay in terms of performance i will come here and i'll give you a comparison video because i do have both uh but that is what this fragrance is all about sea chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today i like the bottle guys i really do like the bottle i think the bottle is nice um thank you so much for joining me today do turn on post notifications that way you are notified anytime i upload a video uh subscribe i hope you have if you haven't why not like this video if you like it comment if you want to comment and remember guys smelling good is a form of good manners cheers